Okay, so now it's going to start getting interesting with our scripting. And that is because in this lesson, you're going to learn how to change the properties of a part in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So uh, you're going to want to have Roblox Studio open. And we left off with the uh, errors and comments in from the last lesson. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete this script. We're going to start a new one. So again, to delete a script, you just click on the script and then right click and then press delete. And I'll ask you to confirm. I'm going to go ahead and delete that script. So the first part of understanding how to change uh, the properties of a part is that you need to be able to tell the program where to find the part. Okay, so it's kind of like, you know, on your computer when you have different file folders uh, and you might have um, something in on the desktop and then you'll click on the folder and then there'll be several folders within that. It's the same thing with Roblox Studio. So let me show you what I mean. So let's say I want to start another script and add one. So we're going to go ahead and click and add a script. I'm going to add it to that purple wall again. And again, you see that print hello world came up. And so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So to delete, you just highlight and then press backspace or delete. And so the first thing to understand is that the uh, properties are all held within the game. And so the first thing that I will want to write for this is game. So in my previous analogy, that would be like the desktop. So the game is holding everything. And so the next thing I want to do is uh, put a period there. And I'm kind of looking for the next folder. And so the next folder would be workspace because the part that I want to change the purple wall is within the workspace. You can see it in the Explorer. Again, we can do the drop down. And so I have game, then workspace, and then I'm going to find the actual part. So uh, now I'm just like finding like the file on your computer, right? So the part on this is actually called purple wall. So I'm going to go ahead and look up purple. There it is. It'll come up. And you can see when they come up, you can double click them like I do. And that will um, fill, auto fill it in for you. And that, that helps you from making any errors in your code. So I found the part. And now I'm going to actually change the property of the part. So you can see once I have identified it within like the folders and then within the actual finding the actual part, it gives me all of these options that I can change. Now, some of these you'll notice we have been working with already. So anchored. Um, that's something that you can change with a script. Everything you see here, you can change with a script, can collide. So we were talking about if you want the player to be able to touch, uh, you know, collide into a, or touch the object or not touch it, uh, that would be the can collide there. And just all of these different things. The one that I want to uh, start with is transparency. And so transparency, remember, is if it makes you, it will be able to look through the part or not be able to look through the part. So again, I'm going to double click. So now I've selected everything I want to. I found the uh, part within the game. And then the transparency is the actual uh, property I'm going to change. I'm going to do a space here and then an equal sign. So now I'm going to actually set this uh, property value, so to speak. So remember, transparency is a number between 0 and 1. 1 is tra completely transparent. You will not be able to see the part. And 0 is uh, not transparent. You will, you will be able to see the part. So let's do something kind of transparent, maybe like 0.7. OK, and so now I've got that in there. And now this is a script that will now change the game and will run once I hit play. Again, these scripts are not going to uh, run until you hit the play button. So you won't be able to see the result of the script until you hit play. So I'm going to go ahead and play and see what happens. So let's look at the purple wall. Let's see if it's kind of transparent now. So I'm going to turn around and just kind of see. So there it is. So you can kind of see that it's uh, a little transparent. Um, so there it is. So it's, it's mostly transparent. Uh, okay, I keep hitting the shift button. So, <laughs> okay, so there it is. It's still there, and I can still collide to it. And you can see it has a shadow still too. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. Um, and so that is the great part about scripting is that you can see how exciting it can be when you start manipulating the things we were doing in previous lessons in the build section. When you start doing that with a script, now these things can start firing automatically. So as a player maybe touches something or perform, performs a certain action, you can then fire off a script that will change an aspect of the game. And that's what makes uh, game creation so fun is all the different things you can change. Let's look at the script one more time here. So we've got the uh, you know purple wall transparency. Let's go back. I'm just going to go ahead and press uh, backspace here. So once you hit backspace to that area, you can go ahead and see uh, what it will auto fill in for you again. Again, all of these different elements can be changed. Some of them are changed in a different way. So uh, there's certain kinds of code that we're going to be learning about. So we've learned about a string so far. There's other kinds of code called Boolean code, which is uh, something that can be true or false. What we just did was a value uh, between 0 and 1. And that is how we were able to change the transparency. 
So I wanted to start you off with just uh, finding off with a, with a basic line of code that you can see how you can uh, manipulate the different properties uh, with code that you put into uh, Roblox Studio. Uh, you actually know for today is to go ahead and uh, write in your first line of code, add it to a part, and then start with this uh, kind of uh, reasoning here, here with them um, finding it and then changing an aspect of it. And once you feel comfortable with that, I will look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.